Now, scientists from the University of Leicester will travel to California tomorrow to lead an international team of scientists on NASA's latest mission to Mars. If next week's landing is successful, Dr. John Bridges will control the rover named Curiosity to try to find proof that there used to be water on the surface of the Red Planet. Now, he thinks it's one of the most important space missions ever, as Michael Sibbert reports. It's very exciting. Um, it's a bit nerve-wracking, but I have quite a lot of confidence uh, that this um, mission will be a great success. I think it's one of the most exciting and important space missions ever. Dr John Bridges is at the forefront of space exploration. In just a few hours, he makes his way to the California Institute of Technology to lead the team of scientists collecting data from the surface of Mars. This is the rover named Curiosity that will be collecting samples. It's due to land on the Red Planet on Monday evening. It weighs around 900 kilos and features a remote controlled geology lab and a rock vaporizing laser. It'll be working on the surface for at least two Earth years. That's about one Mars year. They're searching for evidence of water that could have at some point supported life. The presence of water alone doesn't mean there must have been life, but for life to have been present, there must have been water, and that water um, it must not have been poisonous, so we need to know the composition of the water, and we need to know whether it was too acid or too alkaline or just right, and we need to know the temperature, of course. John was part of the ill-fated Beagle 2 mission, which failed to land its rover more than eight years ago. It was very disappointing, but um, there are risks involved with space exploration and we learnt a lot from um, the Beagle mission. For instance, um, a lot of the instruments, some of which were built at Leicester, have been developed further and some of them will go on future uh, space missions. For three months after the landing, John will be based in the US before bringing his work to the labs in the University of Leicester, where he'll continue his groundbreaking research. Michael Sibbert in Leicester for Central Tonight. Keeping it alive, isn't it? The yeah. research, yeah. keeping it going.